could this be the closest thing to an actual flying car? Asker's hybrid vertical takeoff and landing A5 car made a splash when they debuted their production prototype at this year's CES. See, as well as being an aircraft, Asker's A5 is also designed to drive on roads, meaning you could fly from door to door using just one vehicle. That's the plan anyway, but right now, it's not quite there yet. So as always, we're going to look at where Asker is now, where it wants to be in the future, and what it needs to do to get there. But let's start with where it wants to be. The idea behind Asker's A5 is pretty simple. Instead of commuting to an airport, boarding an aircraft, disembarking and commuting to your final destination, Asker believes that with their A5 you can do the entire door-to-door -door journey in just one vehicle. Their four-passenger SUV-sized aircraft car air car is designed to drive on roads and uses in-wheel electric motors. When you're ready to fly, Asker says the vehicle will unfold its wings and take off, with a range of 250 miles and an operating cost of $1 per mile thanks to its hybrid electric gasoline engine. But what's more interesting than the stats around the A5 is how Asker envisages it being used in the future. Because as well as selling to private buyers, and I will get to that, Aska told me they also believed that the A5 could fundamentally change how we commute if it were to be used as an air taxi. Aska says that because the A5 can fly and drive, you won't need to build infrastructure around landing sites, as you won't need to provide parking, waiting rooms, terminals or charging. You just need somewhere with enough room to spread your wings. And they say that means that landing sites could be pretty much anywhere. The company told me that in the future, disused gas stations could be perfect as distributed landing sites. Though that obviously relies on a future where we no longer need gas stations and nobody else has snapped up that real estate. But all that's in the future. So where is the company now? Well, it's important to note that this thing hasn't actually flown yet. The company is awaiting experimental certification from the FAA and is aiming to get production certification by 2026 though it is currently able to drive on roads. But while they await that production certification, you are able to reserve your own A5 for personal use. The final cost, $789,000. That puts it in roughly the same price range as a Robinson helicopter, though obviously helicopters vary wildly in price. The company tells me they've received around 100 pre-orders. So will Asker's A5 really be able to create a new, affordable way for the average person to commute? Well, the key question here is whether it can actually save passengers time and money. See, while Asker says the A5 will take you direct from door to door, it will still need to go via a suitable takeoff spot. And in dense urban centres, it's likely air traffic managers will have a say over where those spots can be. After you've driven to your takeoff spot, it's likely you'll want to make sure your batteries are fully charged before you fly. And that takes time. And even when you land, you might not be able to use the fastest roads to get to your final destination, as the A5 isn't yet certified to drive on highways. That could mean that the overall journey is no faster than getting a train or taxi to and from a fully charged or fueled aircraft. But I guess it does cut out the inconvenience of having to transfer. And then there's cost. While the company says that ride hailing trips could be as cheap as an Uber Black, at $789,000 that's quite an expensive vehicle even for Uber Black standards. Though the company told me they hope to get the cost down to $200,000 to $300,000 per vehicle as they ramp up production. Unless Asker can prove that they can save passengers time and money, it's going to be challenging for their ride hailing business to compete with other air taxis, let alone conventional multimodal transport. So for Asker's A5 to truly change how we commute, the company will need to receive certification on a production model and certification to drive on highways sell some initial vehicles to the public, reduce production costs, and then somehow prove that flying and driving in just one vehicle can be dramatically more efficient and cost-effective than multimodal transport. Until all that happens, it's unlikely that you'll see Asker's A5 flying as an air taxi. But you might still see a few flying around Asker's in the next few years, just being flown privately.